<laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Jessica the Book Rock Goddess, and this is Jojo Story Lush, and I was leaning on the wrong side, I'm sorry. And we are here to do our book haul for the month of May, or what is this, our second or third? It's probably our second. Our second. Our yes, second. we've been kind of lacking, sorry. We've had a busy <sighs> month, and the next month we're going to be probably slacking again, because we're going to be in Florida for a week, we're going to be getting ready for Florida before we go, we leave on the 14th, and then when we get home... So we might next be able month might not be very good, but we yeah. might if we bring my laptop, we might be able to do it while we're there. Yeah, we still should so. probably be able to do a hot topic Tuesday in Florida, maybe at you know because that might be fun to do while we're in Florida. So I'm gonna be with um, my friends. So I don't know how long she's gonna let me sit there. Yeah, if your friend yeah. ends up getting to come, but we'll see. Um, just because of the vehicle situation. Shut up. But <laughs> we'll figure it out. But anyway, people jumped out of. The bandwagon. Yes. And then she crashed her car, so we got screwed. Yes. We're <laughs> having some issues. But anyways, let's get started for our book call. And you can go first. Okay. I got Jen Kalanita's Bell. Sorry if I sound like crap because I've got a cold and headache, so I woke up this way. It's not fun. I love this book. Look at that. I haven't even read the synopsis for it, but the cover's just beautiful. So, I didn't care. <laughs> <clears throat> My first book is um, by Kaylin Gao, who I absolutely loved. And look at this cover. It is, like, awesome. It's called Scattered, or Shattered, I'm sorry. And it is the second book to the Desire series. And this, I mean, this cover sparkly. It's just absolutely Gorgeous. I love it. But I love Kaylin Gao, so I, I can't wait to read this. I'm going to have a dystopian month, so this will definitely be on the list of dystopians that I will be reading. So, okay. I got Savannah Colasanti's Waiting for You. Um, I only need like two more books of hers, and then I have them all. And I can't wait. I haven't read any of them yet. I started reading one of them a while ago, but I wasn't supposed to read it, so I had to put it down. It wasn't part of my month, and I got halfway through it, and I love it. And I only did it at like at like midnight, ended at like two, when I was halfway through with it. But um, I should just finished it. <laughs> but it was really good. So I really like her writing. So I'm just getting all of them. I think I'm gonna like her more than Sarah Dutton, probably. Yeah, I don't. I've only read one book by Sarah Dutton, and I don't. I, maybe two. And I don't. I know I didn't. I like, like How to Deal. One. How to Deal was good. Okay. And I read that, um, that's, it was a short book, I don't remember. I Miss Lullaby? Mm-mm. Is the one on, where she's on the dock? Maybe. I don't Dreamland remember. or something? No. I don't know. Um, anyways, it's short. Okay, then I got Once Every Never by, um, Leslie Livingston. Leslie? Leslie Livingston. <laughs> and I love her. I loved her other series. Um, Wondrous Strange and Winter Fine, <laughs> which I gotta finish the third book in it. Um, but I it is on my list and I've been putting it off, maybe because I don't want the series to end because it is an amazing series and I love the characters. But so I'm looking forward. She's to She's got some this weird one. like titles. Wondrous Strange. Um, then it's uh, um, Tempestuous. And the second book, I can't think of it. Now. Oh no, I'm thinking of the other lady who did your Shakespearean play. Oh book. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She's got some um, funky titles. Uh, Lisa Marchetta. Marchetta. Yeah, she's got some. And I was gonna say that works with that. Yeah. Theme no. No. She's weird. No. <laughs> um, her her series was good too. I really enjoyed her series. You haven't read the same one yet, either, have you? No, I've read all of her hers. Did it end the right way? <laughs> no. It ended. <laughs> In a good way, I guess, but not the way I would have wanted it oh. to end. Had I wrote it, it would have been different. But okay. I got I Catherine <laughs> Clark's Love and Other Things I'm Bad At. Um, this is the second bind-up that I have of hers. The first one, I have Main Squeeze and Banana Splitsville. This one has Rocky Road Chip and Sunday My Prince Will Come, and, which means I got all of her books for that, um, the trilogy for, I'm going to call it the Dessert Trilogy. <coughs> Because the Sorry. first one is Banana Splitsville, Rocky Road Trips, the second one, and then Sunday. So I'm going to... Sunday, your prince will come. Sunday, my prince will come. <laughs> so 
I'm going to call it the dessert trilogy. <laughs> it sounds like one. It <laughs> sounds yummy. Sweet, so, and then I'm going to read those next one. And it sounds yummy. Okay, my next book is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins, and I've heard that this is amazing, and it's a debut author book, so Ouch. I can't wait to read it and let you guys know how what I think about it. But I heard that it was um, a couple of booktubers said that they read it in like a day, so we'll see. But anybody who can read a book in a day, the, day, the book must be really good if you want to devour it that quickly. Ooh, I like the way these chapters are made out. Sorry. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, show the people. Are these in parts? Probably. Show the people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> show I'm the people. I'm very confused. Okay. I got The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman. I like Robin Wasserman's book. I've read a couple of her other ones. Um, it says, One Girl, One Night, Centuries of Secret. This is a beautiful cover. Yeah, I, I like the cover. Oh. Although, I'm not... Although, I do kind of... Oh! It doesn't even have the title on it. That is kind of awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, that sucks. Eh, yeah, well. Okay. That's, that's all right. That's pretty cool. That is a cool one. Okay, my next book is Immortal: The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, and this is Blood and um, uh, Blood of Eden series. The Kagawa and or Kagawa? 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 I don't know. I think it's Kagawa. I think that's how everybody says it. Kag Kagawa? Kagawa? But anyway, Kagawa all the time. So yeah, but no I've idea. heard it pronounced a couple of times. So, but um, yeah, she wrote the Iron Face series, and the Iron Face series, the first book I read, um, I didn't care for it all that much. It was all right, but I've read better fairy books, and not to bash her, but I heard her series gets better. So I am going to read late more books in the the rest of the books because I do own them. She'll um, enjoy this more anyway, probably because it's vampire. Yes, I'm a big vampire fan, but I'm also a fairy fan. So, but I just um I've read the for first book. I think I've read better, but I heard the series is great, so I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of it. So, and I will let you know how I feel about the whole series. Alrighty then. Um, I got If I Stay by Gail Forman. Um, this is supposed to be really good. I almost bought the second one, but I didn't because I didn't know who would like the first one. Because even though a lot of people say they like books, I'm weird. So, and usually the ones they say they don't like, I like. And the ones they say they do like, I don't. So, right? <laughs> Alright, this book I got for four bucks. It's brand new. I got it in the used section at Barnes & Nobles. And it's Daughter of the Centaurs by Kate Kilmo, and I do believe that this is also a debut novel for 2012, and um, uh, I ho I'm hoping to read that shortly. Um, I just don't know. I was excited because it was four bucks, but um, I hadn't bought it because I'm not too sure if I like the whole centaur thing. I love, I love Greek mythology, but I don't think I've ever really liked the whole centaur thing, but I am willing to give it a try and see if this book changes my viewpoints. Let me show you two things. Oh, sorry. I got Evercrossed by Elizabeth Chandler. It's the fourth book of the Kiss by an Angel series. Um, the first one is Kiss by an Angel, but it has three books in it, which is Kiss by an Angel, <coughs> The Power of Love, and Soulmate. And this is the fourth one. So it's pretty. I like roses, so I got it. And then because this goes in with buying books, because I bought books, and then I bought these. These are my bookshelf buddies. They're so cute. And it's Bound and the Beast, even though they're not book called bookshelf buddies. But they are becoming my bookshelf buddies. And they go on my bookshelf. And I'm getting Jack and Sally because my room is decorated in Beauty and the Beast half. And then the other half is night before Christmas. And then I'm getting Boo just because she's awesome. And I love Monster Week. So yeah, we're just doing that. Okay. My next book and final book is um, the Wild and Wanton Pride and, Pre Pride and Prejudice version. And it's she's by... Not, I, <laughs> it's by Annabella... Yeah, Annabella Bloom and Jane Austen, of course. And um, I just love anything you to do with read that cast. Do it. Do it. This is why I said yes. I'll, you don't do it. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. She so Elizabeth Bennett and Mr. Darcy finally do it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that is not why I got it. That I is exactly like, why she got no, it. No, <laughs> because I've got about a bazillion books of Pride and Pride. But she's the one. This one? Because of that. <laughs> well, it's a variation. I love all the variations. Yeah, so I've she got, like, she, she got it for that. 
But okay, I got that, and I love the cover. Look at the cover of this. This is gorgeous. She liked the name The Wild and Wild Edition. <laughs> no. Anyways, but that's why. Okay, I got that, and I'm hoping that Misty will be doing her uh, book, uh, Jane, Jane and June. June, pretty soon, so I can read my Jane and June book. She can read her Wild uh, and Wild book. <laughs> anyway, but yes, but that's. <laughs> but needless to say, that I got that, so I'm excited. So. Until next time, we should look out for our TBR pile for June, and um, we will see you shortly. Bye. Bye. -bye.